How you doing? Mr. DJ's back. I'm going to try a couple of, cut a couple of videos for my 70s YouTube channel tonight. It is 1.37, uh, the date, May 1st, 2015, outsourcing Billboard's Hot 100, April 29th, 1972. And boy, I got another lost 45. It is totally lost. 100 proof, aged in soul. Boy, that sounds good. That sounds like fine wine been aging in the closet for about the past couple of hundred years. <laughs> it tastes good. It's all good. Everything good is bad is the name of the record. That week on April 29, 1972, it went from 73 to 63. It looked really promising, but it didn't make top 40. 100 proof aged and sold. Formed in 1969. They were assembled by the fame, the, the absolutely red hot Motown songwriting team of Holland, Dozier, Holland, Brian Holland, Lamont Dozier, Eddie Holland, Stopping the Name of Love, Baby Love, Where Did Our Love Go, Heat Wave, Sugar Pie Honey Bunch, uh, Same Old Song, all written by Holland Dozier Holland. God knows what Motown would have been like had they not been songwriters, but they were not songwriters there forever. They left Motown in 1967. They had a business dispute with Motown head Barry Gordy. When they left Motown, they formed the Invictus and also the Hot Wax record label. Late 60s, early 70s, sporting people like Frida Payne, chairman of the chairman of the board, and 100 Proof and Soul, which uh, Holland Dozier Holland, they assembled in 1969 and they and they uh, signed them to their Hot Wax record label. Fall of 1970. Gosh, gritty, earthy soul. Far cry from the Motown sound. Somebody's been sleeping in my bed. <laughs> yes. Vivid memories to listen to that song on my General Electric Transistor radio way back in the fall of 1970. That was one scintillating single, 100 Proof and Soul. About a year and a half later, everything good is bad, but they couldn't recapture the magic of Somebody's Been Sleeping. Only guys high is number 45 on Billboard's Hot 100. They broke up in 1973. They reformed four years later, but under a different lineup. But a couple of the original members, uh, some of the original members of 100 Proof Aged and Soul, and we're talking Aged and Soul big time, veterans, Joe Stubbs, formerly of the Falcons, the Contours, and the Originals, the brother of Levi Stubbs, lead singer of the Four Tops. And there was Carlos McKinley Monroe. He was the lead singer of the Falcons. And he was also in a band called the Firestone. The Falcons had that hit back in 1959 called You're So Fine. Or maybe it was She's So Fine. Well, anyway, it had fine in the title. It was a pretty big hit back in 59. But we're in 1972 right now. And here is 100 Proof Aged and Soul. Song went up to number 45 on Billboard's Hot 100. On Billboard's Hot 100 for 11 weeks, it did go to number 15 R&B. Everything good is bad.